the energy never falls on the defense, whether we give up big plays, we make big stops, the energy is always there, and we always are there for each other on the sideline. So it's really just that vibe of being able to play off of each other, I think, is what helps us be successful. You had a teammate today that hit a, a career milestone. Curtis Weaver now has 22.5 sacks, and uh, that leads the FBS in active players, and it's also tied for fourth uh, in school history. Uh, what did you see from him today, and, and how fun is it to be a part of, you know, play with someone that's doing something like that? Yeah, you know, a lot of times I'm running right off the edge with him right there, too, so I kind of got the front row view of him doing, his, doing what he does. So it's fun to just see him be who he is, you know, such a good person, a good teammate, and be able to just be slippery out there and make plays on the edge. Um, knowing that you guys obviously had such a strong defensive performance today, would you say that there's some sort of more special connection or something that's that's making you guys this good this early? Yeah, you know, we, we fought through a lot of adversity just coming back all the way from last season, and we never we never uh, we never grew apart as a defense. You know, it only brought us tighter. So just being able to really be a family, you know, loving the guy next to you and just playing for each other. Did you, did you ever get you, you talked about always kind of being even keeled? Did, did it get frustrating at all? I mean, there was a part. You guys had a touchdown call back. Harson gets a penalty. I mean, was there ever a moment where you guys were like, we can't let this get out of control? No, we were excited every time we got to be on the field. You know, it's just another opportunity for us. If you watch us on the sideline, as soon as that ball's turned over, we're ready to go. You know, just another opportunity for us to make plays. More plays for us, more time to have fun. That's that's how we felt about it. Uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel Noah had a You had a strong day too, but I keep asking <laughs> you about your teammates. But Ezekiel Noah, you know, to have seven tackles today, um, five of them solo, it seemed like he was particularly fired up. What did you see from him? Yeah, you know, just going back to this week of preparation, he did a good job of turning around quick, you know, like, like the rest of us from a short week and just being able to fly around. Um, I'm kind of mad at him that he dropped the interception in the first half, <laughs> which he should have had, and I told him about it, but he did really good. <laughs> What did Coach Harson say to you guys at halftime? It seemed like he did come out with more energy right away. What did, what did, was he fired up in the at halftime? What did he say to you guys? You know, he doesn't really have to say much. You know, it's just the players being able to look at each other and say it's time to go right now. You know, we knew that we were close to, to breaking through. You know, defense, we were confident. Offense, we knew that if they did what they did, something was going to break. So it was really just us looking, looking at each other and making that decision to finish it. Well, I mean, I... I would like if we had shutouts in both halves. So I mean, there's 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 work to improve on there, and um, it feels good to get a win and 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 have that momentum carry into next week. But never just being like, oh, it feels good. We can wait till the second half to to come, to to shut it down. But to be, but being able to fix the first half and then continuing to play full four quarters is our goal right now. All week, Carson was talking to us and saying, avoiding a hangover after playing, you know, winning at Florida mm -hmm. State. How huge that is for you guys. Yeah. Did you feel a little bit of that, of that effect with the slow start? Personally, I never do. Like, and I don't think I don't. I don't feel like we felt that. You know, we pre we prepared this week well, and and we're always. You know, we've got a focused team, and um, I, I never linger on a win or a loss past you know the night of. So um, I, I didn't feel that on the field. Um, there's just I mean we gotta watch the film and see what it was that they were able to hit us on early, and I mean it was only seven points that. Uh, they did end up scoring in the first half, but but just being able to be more crisp and more sound in our assignments and as a defense. It seems like a lot of times in sports, we, you pick like one person that had a really awesome game. But in this game, it feels like there was so much that happened defensively that was great. I mean, obviously with a forced fumble and an interception for you, Curtis Weaver with the sack, I mean, Ezekiel Noah leading you guys in tackles. What is it like as a player to watch all of your teammates, you know, making those plays and, and be able to do it yourself? Uh, we love that. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. That's been the identity of this year is, is uh, we're going to go out together as a family on the field. Mistakes are not. People are going to make plays, and we're going to have each other's back. And so seeing the successes of Curtis going, um, Kaula going, getting sacks, Zeke leading tackles, just everybody out there making plays is, is what makes the sport fun and, and you know what, what makes it all worth it when you're training the whole summer and the whole winter and going out and being able to see all the guys to your right and your left being able to make those plays is something special. Walk, you know, what do you take away from a game like that? You win, but it seems like the offense has a ton of chances to make that more than a seven-point game. I mean, um, we know what we're capable of as an offense. We know that wasn't our standard. Uh, we know we can execute better, and we need to execute better in the future. So um, we'll go back to the drawing board and correct what we did um, this weekend and just get right. Was, Sir? Oh, go ahead, Dave. Oh, yeah, say, I mean, you know, it, we, so we saw it week one, we saw it week two. Hank uh, take a lot of hits. Uh, th this time, he's running the ball a little bit and getting those. What, what do you guys think when you see that, your quarterback kind of run around, and I don't think he slid once? I mean, it's awesome. Extending plays, you know, we need that. He, he showed um, a lot of effort, you know, his big time. 
uh, those third down runs, uh, we needed those to uh, keep our momentum going and uh, create some momentum at times. So um, he, that was great by him. On a night when maybe you guys didn't have the offensive output that you wanted, um, what did you enjoy or appreciate about your defense's effort tonight? Uh, they, they kept us in the game. Um, uh, during the game, we weren't able to, as an offense to um, get into the end zone at times, and uh, defense really held it down. So uh, shout out to those guys. Um, they did amazing. In baseball, a coach might come out of the dugout and yell at the ump. Coach, coach got a penalty. What, what do you think about that? Did it have an effect on the team? I mean, I've seen it. Uh, I mean, I thought, I thought it was pretty funny. But, uh, no, nah, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, it happens. Uh, we love him, and he knows that. So uh, it's nothing. Did it fire you guys up at all? I mean, does it, does it have an effect? Yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's, you know, we see it, and it happens, and it's just like, let's let's go play. You said he knows it. Did he did he fess up and say I made a mistake? Yeah, he did apologize, and like I said, we love him. Uh, we gonna stick by his side no matter what. You do that at halftime or after the game? After the game. Yeah. <laughs> kind of crazy um, to see, you know, FBS college football, and you guys have two true freshmen that are out there, really, you know, kind of leading this offense right now, and in a tough time. Obviously, you're doing a good job as well, but you know, talk a little bit about the fact that George rushed for under, you know, over 100 yards today. Uh, their preparation during the week is just, it's amazing. You always see Hank uh, in the film room uh, asking whenever our installs come out. He's, he's there the moment it comes out so he can be ready to prepare for the game. And George, he's tough. He's a tough dude. Uh, he runs hard. And uh, they're just going to get better and better every week. So um, it's going to be a scary sight. How impressed have you been with his toughness, especially, you know, he had the helmet ripped off his head and, you know, still took that hit, just stood right back up. Yeah, I mean, I was actually right there when that happened. And, uh, I, I run up to him really fast. I'm like, you good? You good? And he's like, he's just yapping. He's like, let's go, let's go. He's screaming, yelling. So that uh, honestly gets me pretty hyped for the next play. Uh, to see how, how tough he's been, um, it's amazing. Uh, to see him fight through everything, um, it, it, it gets the offense going. So. It's a cliche, but I mean, how, how did this game kind of prove to you guys that despite the fact you're 2-0, it's still a lot of, there, there's a lot left to accomplish in your work in progress? Yeah, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot more football to play. So. Um, like I said, uh, we're going to go correct reveal uh, this weekend and uh, next man up for the state. So we're, we're focused on that um, and we're, we're going to get right.